like last time we are jumping straight into some boxing because i already know what the book is i knew what the book is the second they announced the theme and i saw the aesthetic that matched the book cover and i also know what's in this box because my friend told me <laughs> and i'm pretty sure i said last time that i wasn't going to get any more alcrate boxes because the shipping is as much as the box but apparently my subscription didn't cancel so here it is i don't actually remember what the theme is so we're gonna have a, the dark heart of the forest that would be a great book title so this is kind of cute i'm gonna keep it up so i can kind of say what's in it the first thing i see is i think this is is this the lord of the rings bowl i got one of these in my last box which is the august box and i didn't really want it because i'm not a huge lord of the rings fan but i think these are cute now that i have them i kind of appreciate them more i can't work out how to get into this oh this one's blue i like blue a lot let's open it up Autos who wander are lost. Oh. All that is gold does not glitter. Not all those who wander are lost. This is actually quite cute. I like that it's subtle, Lord of the Ringsy. So, okay. I can still like it even if I've never read or seen anything about Lord of the Rings. The next thing I see is a literary luggage pin. I think, again, I got one of these in my last box. I think this is just the theme for all the boxes that come out this year. But I think the one I got last time was for Fable, which is a book that I was quite fond of. This one is has trees it has inspired from blood and ash this is it has like bloody trees this is this is very cute i do love this a lot it has the same color scheme as a gallant almost and i am awfully fond of gallant even though no one else is but again i like this it's very cute and i will treasure this greatly next thing i see is this this little pouch that says perhaps there is magic in the forest I'm desperately trying to read the little prompt card thing to tell me what this is before I open it. A soap dish? A soap dish. This reminds me of, I think it was the August box for Illumicrate or Fairy Loot. The book was The Drowned Woods, where they had like a towel, a toothbrush, all like those fun things that make no sense, in my opinion, for a book box. This is a soap dish. This is, it looks like an Animal Crossing item. It's, it feels very flimsy, I will say. I like the color. Um, oh, this is, you can kind of see, it's very scratched down here. And also the font is a struggle for me specifically to read. And it looks like, you can see around here, it looks like it's been broken off. Like, is this meant to, I guess this is meant to come out, but it looks, broken and it is very scratched and i can't really read it i'm like this is cute i'll keep hold of it i probably won't use it as a soap dish but this is going to be another underwhelming box the next thing i see is this dark forest hand warmer is this on the back what this is how do i open you up this is one of the ones that you like squish and you break the little metal thing inside and it activates and you can reheat it by like boiling it this is the wood makes monsters of us all can you kind of see that oh i got to take the plastic you can kind of see that on the back it says his magic is my magic petals and seeds leaves and pollen very cute um again i appreciate that it's seasonally appropriate because it's very cold around here right now i personally probably wouldn't use it we have the worms We've got some Latin. Is this the Raven Boys book? Book? Raven Boys item? The Tree Speak Latin. This, I'm pretty sure I know. I'm getting better at this point. This, I'm pretty sure I know. It's it's a toothbrush. And it says, visit Cave's Water. I don't want it to. <laughs> How do I say it politely? It's a cute little case. I'll find something else to use it for, but again a toothbrush it's it's interesting is all i can say about this again a moment to process because i was quite i think underwhelmed by my last box because i bought the box purely for the book and i wish i could have got one of the illumicrator fairly boxes but their wait list did not allow me on at the time and our crate seems to have infinite spots and again the items are quite cute they're just um not specifically things I would want. I wish they had more fandom neutral items in boxes, or they did some kind of survey or poll to find out what people wanted from their boxes. 
Because like, I, don't, I don't think anyone's asking for a toothbrush. The same for whichever Verily or Lumicrate box it was that had toothbrushes in. I don't want this. This I was very excited for because one of my friends always has a ream planner from Alcrate and I'm so envious because they look so cute and I love them. But I've never ended up wanting the Alcrate boxes for the month that comes with this in. And now I've accidentally ended up with one. And it has a little quote on the back which says, the clearest way into the universe is through a forest wilderness. I'm glad that they used this quote by this John guy instead of the, and into the forest I go to lose my mind and something, 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 that quote. Because that quote I'm pretty sure is not actually his, it was taken off some Tumblr account and then remade to be his. So I'm glad they've gone for the one that definitely is his and not that one. But this is so cute, it has some kind of moth on it. It's, these are thicker than I was expecting. I've never had my own one of these before. It's actually a little preview. We've got some tables. We've got a lot of fun stuff. I say I wanted these so bad, but now looking at it, am I convinced I'll actually use it? I'll probably get bored as I do with all my diaries in a few weeks. But again, I wanted one of these so bad and now I have one and it's quite cute. And now finally we have the book as I dig through the box. <laughs> actually, what's this at the bottom? Oh, this is a little magazine that comes about the box. And then at the very bottom we have a little preview for the next box. Starcrossed. Okay. So this book, I read a copy of it a month or two ago because I saw it on Goodreads, I fell in love with the concept and the idea and the cover and I wanted to read it before it came out, obviously, as I do with all books. And then I read it and I was vaguely underwhelmed by it because it felt like it should have been such a me book. Like every aspect of it should have been a me book. <coughs> But I think I haven't done official reviews this yet, but I think my biggest appointments were not enough forests, not enough monsters. And again, the entire book felt like filler for the second book, like what a second book in a trilogy usually ends up being. So again, I had this book <laughs> that I, I do still want it. I'm just less excited by it now than when I read it. Because when I found out I accidentally ordered this book, I read the book very quickly just to make sure I did enjoy it and I didn't. But we're gonna open her up. I like that this is, um, Alcrate has a tendency just to recolor covers rather than redesign them like other boxes do. So this is a blue and silver version rather than like a pinky greeny goldy version, I believe. It has, it has blue stained pages. It has, in the back we have the author letter that I will read later, but I do actually love the author letters that come with all Alcrate books. They're very special to me. Okay, author letter has the book on the other side very cute very cute shiny shiny what does it say we are lanterns in the forest we are lanterns oh we are lanterns the forest can never snuff out i remember reading this in the book i just forgot to read for a second and we have blue stained pages mine had like a lot of dust and like grimy bits on which is fine i can i can fix it we have oh, oh. Signed a very small, oddly placed signature. And we have oh, these end papers are gorgeous. This is one of my favorite scenes in the book. Is these like ghosty deer things? This is very cute, it's very blue. I love that it's on theme. We have oh, there's a lot to look at right now. Everything's covered off. We have foiling on the front, which it's a I, I don't know why I assume that was a polar bear, not just a bear for a second. But we have this again, very cute, very shiny. I don't actually remember there being any bears in the book though. And on the inside we have the jacket art of, we have Winnie, who, what I'm thinking about it, is very good glasses representation out of like most, pretty much all of the YA books I read. So Luminary's excellent glasses wrap. Then we have this guy whose name I forgot. And also he doesn't look how I imagined. But I like that this is blue and on theme. But it, also I don't think the art style and the theme this drawing giving off matches the tone of the book. But she looks wonderful, he looks like someone i don't know he looks like someone i think this is pretty much average for what our crate books usually are <laughs> like stained pages and papers recolored cover i'm glad they've gone for an actual color because usually they just change the background from black to white or white to black like the drowned woods the bone houses law among the beasts and briars like all the books i ever got from our crate they just swap the cut the <laughs> color the background 
So I like that this one has colour, it's got the same pages, it's has what I'd expect from our great book. I haven't seen the version of the books that other companies have done yet because I'm pretty sure Lumicrate also did the Luminaries. But I don't know what theirs looks like so I can't compare if I'll create some better job out of the two. But for an Owl Crate book, this is pretty standard. I like it, but I don't dislike it. I just always wish they do a redesign covers. And again, I'm not awfully fond of the um, art style and the tone of the art, I believe. So other than that, I think this is a very average Owl Crate box of all the ones I've seen so far. It's not my favourite. I think the Law one is still definitely my favourite. I love the Raven Cycle one. This is probably equal to the Drowned Woods one because again it's got the Lord of the Rings bottle that I probably won't use. It's got always like a weird item that again it's cute but I don't think I would personally use. And then also we have this which is like oddly broken and scuffed which I don't know how to feel about. So in conclusion, an okay box. I never know how to end these unboxings. It's an okay box. It's great. Great. I'll see you a different time with hopefully a better box. Goodbye.